looking forward to. Here we go. We're going to let them know we're ready to go. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. So do we have some Cypher fans in the audience? <laughs> How about Rafa fans? Make some noise for Rafa as well. The game's getting live. Here we go. Aerowalk is our first map, Zoo. This is going to be really awesome. Yeah, Starting nice. off with the yeah. highest of paces we can possibly oh, find. And here we go, right off the bat, run Rafa. Oh, that's going towards the Mega Health. I just managed to take it in the end. Doesn't take much damage. Looking for rocket damage immediately. And he's going to be able to back off uh, finally. And he's got 20 seconds left until any big items are coming up. And he's going to see if he can actually pull out maybe a little move and sneak his way onto the red positioning. Uh, Rafa had to be careful. If Cypher went back through the teleporter, that could have been a telefrag early on. All the rocket bouncing off of Cypher's head. And he's actually very weak. If Rafa lands a, a rail or anything, Cypher would be absolutely crippled. But he makes the jump over. Oh my gosh, the rocket! Cypher was so weak after that. And Rafa will get this mega with ease. Not a single frag just yet. Rafa will get that red, uh, get that mega and that yellow and the green as well. So Rafa's looking really good for this. But look at that, just the sting in the side there, that rail. And then the LG. So oh, how does he find the damage? Look, look. Out of nowhere, Cypher is coming out huge with the execution once again. And the rail off to start with as well. It's constantly just damage, damage, damage from Cypher. Conversion. Oh my god, that shotgun hurt a lot. Cypher lost an awful lot of his health and armor. He's going to be able to get back onto the red, but that's definitely going to hinder his progress in really capitalizing on his control. Here's the next Mega. Goes to Cypher this time. Rafa wasn't able to do anything with his, and here goes Cypher straight into Rafa with that lightning gun. Rafa trying to defend. He does manage to get Cypher to move back a bit, but still, he's going to keep oh. progressing forwards with that lightning gun. Finds another kill and oh, here goes away. another one. So fast at the moment, he wants to get it 4-0, but Farfra has done a ton of damage, but he's still going to get it. Red armor is up. Cypher going to be leaping over towards that. Uh, Rafa does have the railgun. He's going to try and get a few peak shots on him uh, after he gets the yellow armor. Oh, there's going to be one. Uh, Cypher going to have to be a little bit careful now, watching out for the rockets, but the LG is wow. devastating. 5-0. So sick, man. So sick. Just glued onto Rafa. And here goes the red, the next big item. Cypher's there to defend it, and he just oh, finds wow. Rafa. Detected him. Yes, yeah, seriously. That's such good prediction there from Cypher. He is on a roll. 6-0. to Two minutes gone. This pace is blinding there from the Belarusian. Yeah, and I think this is kind of what we were expecting. We thought, okay, yeah. he is so good on this map, and he has been all tournament. Is Rafa going to be the one to hold it against him? But he has no answer at the moment. We've still got three quarters of the map left to see what Rafa can do about this lead Cypher has. Might have a little chase, but Cypher does not want to let Rafa get the turnaround on the mega health. Here it is. He's going to actually push forward, and it's going to be a seventh rag. Well played over here. And there's going to be the blue bubble. Cypher should be able to make his way up to the red. LG is crippling once again. 8-0 now. Oh it God. just never seems to stop. This is what he's done every hero walk. It's just you can't stop just this vicious aim that he has. He's hitting so much. And Rafa's just waiting for it to stop so he can actually start playing hero walk oh, wow. as well. But Cypher finds another one. Rafa's doing his best here. But still, you can, Cypher's just on a roll. What can you do? Well, it's really tough to tell because Rafa actually just needs to get more damage output going. Cypher is 700 damage ahead of Rafa's just 1,000 damage wow. on this map. He needs to do more. And Cypher, he's going to be able to push this. Almost gets the rail through the windows. Does he want to get the frag? Of course he does. Rafa, got to be very careful here on the teleporter exit. It's going to go down once again. And it's now a whole 10 frags made up in just over three minutes. Just looking so, so good for Cypher at the start of this best of five. Grand final here. And... Will it slow down? Will Rafa be able to just stop this insane pace from Cypher? Because right now, Cypher's just having his way with Rafa. And that has to end very soon. We're three and a half minutes into this one. And the Mega's coming up here. Cypher's going to defend it. No chance here for Rafa to make a grab or even much pressure. Cypher gets more as a clean oh. pickup and a beautiful pixel rail as well to boot. It's going to be the red armor in a moment, but is he going to try and play around with it a little bit? And try oh, the oh, frag wow. through the window, reading Rafa's movements brilliantly. And Rafa, I, I don't know if he should be slowing it down at this point, because everything he's trying to come up with so far just has not worked at all. Cypher, he's got the red up, and if he, if he takes it, then he's just going to be pretty much unstoppable. And he is just racking them up faster and faster. I dare say, I can't believe what's going on at this moment. Rafa, with no answer, you don't see that very often. It's just Cypher on Errol. He picked this map for a reason. If he gets a good start like this, he just gets on a roll. Becomes this. He just goes super saying basically. And here goes Rafa. Finally. Oh, oh he gets it. There. 
two health left. I cannot believe it. Rafa clutching it. And it, I have to say, if Cypher got that kill and managed to pick up Mega, you know, that might be enough frags to really push the game. Oh, the rocket from below jumps down the bounce pad. And Rafa, he's going to have to do a lot of work again here as we approach the halfway mark. Yeah, he needs to find 13 in five minutes. That yeah. is no easy feat against Cypher, who, when he is putting it, uh, out of control on this map, somehow disappears into the walls and becomes a ghost. And Rafa, he hasn't even experienced the taste of control wow. yet. Wow. That was a pretty frag over there. GG, man. 15 to 1 in five minutes. Cypher with a storming start here in the grand finals. Rafa knows that. I mean, there's no coming back from that. There's just, I mean, it would have been such a, such a horrible grind, such yeah. a struggle just to get back. And I mean, his chances were so slim that he's like, okay, let's just, let's get onto the next map. So you know, I think. Um, Cipher just knows Aero Walk, though, yeah. man. That I, I've never really seen anything like it at this level of Quake. And Cipher just, you know, making it look so easy. Super impressive performance there. And it's going on to Lost World, which is Rafa's map pick. Yeah. I uh, wonder what's going to happen here. Rafa's yeah, we, we need can't to take too much from that error walk. We can't yeah. you know, think, oh, you know, let's not fear for Rafa just yet. It's going to Rafa's pick here. Lost World is starting right two. now. Map One. number two in this grand final. We're on Cypher to begin with. Very dominant performance on that error walk, but things most certainly should slow down here for Lost World. Cypher, he's got the rockets. He's making uh, a jump up. Oh, Rafa's going to have to be careful. That rocket was heading right his way. And... Uh, He's going to be able to move back onto that line again. Cypher, though, moving into the center map. Red armor's going to be up very soon. And Rafa's above. Cypher should know that he'll be able to drop down for that red. So he's just got to watch out. Rafa wants to put a little bit of pressure on, get some damage when Cypher picks up this red armor, but he hasn't really hit anything. Tiny bit of damage at the end. But nothing for Cypher to worry about. With one rocket left, though, he's got to use it wisely. And he's going to do it to get up to the upper platform. Yeah, nice pop up there. Things are very slow indeed here at the start. Of map number two, Lost World. Cypher sees Rafa there. He can't really get out onto the center map there. And he really desperately wants that Mega. It's quite far away, but you can see he's got position around that area. And the red is spawning. Cypher's just getting some nice positions. Look at this. Oh, look at that. And finally, <laughs> just uh, almost starting with Rafa there. And uh, Cypher. Oh my gosh. 10 seconds left till this next Mega. He's still got so much stack to work with. Armor doesn't mean a massive amount to Cypher right now. It's all about this Mega health. And. Cypher, when will he make his move? When will he strike? He's, he's not going to it at the moment. He's hanging around uh, in the corners of the map and you know, actually having a fine time. I'm not sure if he's got a good timing on Mega. You, you know, he, he didn't see it get taken, but he will be calculating in his mind exactly when it's going to be spawning uh, ahead of itself, basically. And Cypher, oh, he actually doesn't want to get that red armor. It bit, may, might be a little bit too dangerous for him. Trying to pick out a bit of damage. Won't get any. And he's hovering around the shotgun now. It's, uh, Rafa. Looking very good. 160 armor oh. burn. Rafa has been taken down with the rockets here of Cypher. They're still both on 100 100. A great fight here for the Belarusian. Well, Rafa, he's going to escape to red, and Cypher will indeed get that mega. Let's sort of switch over to Rafa here. And oh, just as I do that, he's managed to land a very nice rocket there onto Cypher. So Rafa and Cypher, they're exchanging big blows here, but the thing of it is that neither of them is really gaining ground oh, until now. Maybe Cypher. He's going to move in again. Trouble. Rafa's got the rockets, though. This could be a bit dangerous, but Cypher's LG is just phenomenal. I don't know if it, it's, it's like it's unparalleled on this tournament, even with all the players in the lineup. As he's still fairly weak. Rafa, he's got to try and get out of here. We're taking a minimal amount of damage. Let's see if he can do it. So far, he hasn't taken much of a beating, but Cypher still lurking above there to try to knock Rafa down a bit. He might end up waiting for another red. Oh no, it's going to decide to walk away even though it spawns really soon. Uh, Cypher moving across and uh, getting himself some yellows right now. Uh, oh, whoa. Bounced up a little bit there by Rafa. Wow. Nice play there from Rafa. He had a lot of machine gun damage and only took one bolt from the plasma gun. So it worked out really well there for Rafa. Things are still very even between these two players. I can't really stress that enough. They're both... They're both avoiding each other like, in, as far as a committed engagement to their death goes. They're both just playing for bits of damage here and there until one of them eventually gets a good enough engagement that they can go in for the kill. And we're going to see a lot of this, I think. It's Mega, but actually they're both looking over it, but Cypher's going to get on it instead. Even though he was much weaker in that situation, Rafa is going to let him pick it up. I find that slightly surprising that Rafa didn't want to pressure. Very passive play here. Rafa is giving an awful lot of respect to Cypher's combat skills. 
Yeah, and Rafa still just lurking up here and seeing if he can find Cypher. And there, oh, Cypher Whoa. finds him once again. It's all about oh Cypher God, again. Line again. But he's going to find him in the air. 17 health left. The 2 the 25 here. But Rafa, Cypher is moving back in. Oh my gosh, down to 7 health. Cypher gets first blood. And that was an arduous journey to pick up. Oh, the rocket almost, almost. hitting him. Oh, well, and once again, but Rafa actually gets bounced into the mega health and he can zoom all the way back to the lightning gun. You know, yeah. Rafa might have lost out on the first kill, but he certainly does not look down and out over here. Yeah, that was really, really good there to steal that mega away. It looks like he's trying to take some damage again, picking away at one another, and then this is a very standard thing, get some damage back away, get some damage back away. Playing with the rangers there, with the weapons to try to basically win that situation as far as how much damage is given and received. And Cypher going to pick up that red armor. So in very good stead here for this mega defense is Cypher, but what will Rafa decide to do? It looks like Cypher's actually going to try to be a bit sneaky here. R Rafa can't do anything. I mean, at the end of the fight last time around, he had eight health. And now he's been picking up a tiny health bubbles, even the 5 HP bubbles down by the bounce pad. So Rafa, he, he's definitely not going to be wanting a fight for probably 30 it's seconds a plus. Really sneaky route from Cypher as well. He went all around the outskirts and up uh, then to the Mega to try to catch Rafa. And I have no idea how Rafa actually managed to, to like avoid that. Usually Cypher's going to find a frag that way, but Rafa's too smart for that. And Cypher right now, with that one frag lead as we enter the halfway point of map number two, is really looking to hold on to this and keep this control going. He can. Do you think he should start playing it really slow, so you know, not take many risks on the fights or? Cypher to play slowly? I'm not sure. Maybe he can he should capitalize a little bit. I think Rafa is forced to play slowly. And look at this. Cypher knows that if he doesn't do any damage soon, then, uh, then Rafa's just going to be able to stack up on those yellows and be able to pick a bigger fight later on. A 1 0 lead, sure, it's fairly significant on Lost World, but it is not as significant enough. Poking in there, and it's going to spot himself Rafa once again. I'm going to switch over to Rafa now to see what he's scrapping together here. He's doing okay to get at the this moment. scoreline more yeah. even. Considering the fact that he was on 8 health at one point after the 1-0 lead, he's done pretty damn well yep. for himself. And always just spots a pixel of his opponent there, but can he turn this into a surprise attack? That is the question for Rafa, and that's the surprise attack there. Bit of free damage, that's what it's about. Just yeah. get that stack lead there, and... I mean, it's so calculated for these players. I mean, that may look like very little, but that can actually change quite a bit. You know, 50 damage here or there. And oh, Cypher oh bringing the fight. Here to it Rafa. comes. It's in trouble. Rafa's going to go down here. Cypher picks up his second. Beautiful, aggressive play. Rafa, his first rocket just did not hit the way uh, he would have liked it to. And of course, it couldn't shut down Cypher's uh, speed in that engagement. Yeah, and time is ticking away here. And. No for Cyphers, left. so he, d he doesn't want to be a part of that. Half the world know he's low on lightning gun ammunition then. Just playing really efficiently, trying not to give any damage for free at all to Rafa, like closing down that entrance and expecting to double back, but will it happen? Looks like not. Rafa won't make such a move and Cypher will get that red there. So with the Mega spawning, Cypher's going to be trying to get up to his old tricks again to maybe catch Rafa, I think, on the outskirts. Indeed, just leaving it up a bit, trying to bait it out a bit, but there he spots Rafa. It doesn't have to take it immediately. That's what this map is about, controlling angles and space and reading your opponents so you understand how you can move and how you can leave items up. And that's what this map is about and you can see Cypher is a master at it, as is Rafa. Yeah, let's watch Rafa for a bit, because he's been playing out of control for quite a long time. And uh, he's going to be selecting uh, the LG Yellow to go to first. If he can get the other one, it would be absolutely brilliant. Gets a fairly decent rocket, and maybe we'll spare him a couple of seconds or a little bit of space where he can stack up a bit further. Cypher spamming shots out, but Rafa is able to move around the map actually fairly liberally. Looks like he's going to make the play then for the Mega, and that's uh, the standard thing here. He's got that stack that should allow him to make a strong challenge here, but what will chance. Cypher have to say about this? He's surely lurking somewhere. Rafa knows he's near. There he is spotted over at the red position. Cypher gives it away. That was a fantastic steal from uh, Rafa. Actually, that gives him a great chance. He had a good rocket. Cypher moves a move up. This could be Rafa's kill. Nice. He is going to get it. What an opportunistic play. Oh, right off the spot. Cypher's in trouble. Rafa's going to be able to tie it up immediately. Wow! Steady aim there from Rafa. That mega steal was absolutely crucial. That's where really Cypher lost all that control that he had pretty much the entire game. Yeah, Cypher, he didn't really do much damage when Rafa took it. It was, it was a really, really nice there. And can Rafa now turn this into a lead? And, and look at the timing for this. 
there's a minute and a half left. That couldn't have really happened at yeah, any better time there. So Rafa. Good, Rafa. And, and oh, remember, he's oh. unmapped down in this. He does not want to be trailing by two and put Cypher on match point. That is just so much pressure to have. He is fully loaded. If he can do this, though, he wants to turn this into a lead. He's at, currently at a tied game. He doesn't want any overtime shenanigans. He wants to take it to the lead right now. And a bit of a whiff, uh, missed rocket jump there. And with both items coming up in 15 seconds or so. Rafa is kind of biding his time, seeing if his good position will pay off. One minute warning. And there it is. One minute warning. Mega spawning soon. Mega right as well. Second. Rafa's not there yet. And Cypher's ready to steal it immediately. Uh, th this could be a bit of a blunder by Rafa, because that's just such an important weapon. He's going to drop on Cypher. He's starting to deal oh. quite a lot of damage at this point. Red is taken, but Cypher's still ahead in this situation. And that lightning gun is just lethal. Here comes the plasma gun. Is he going to be able to get it? Rafa is going to take the lead. What a close fight. Left. I thought that Rafa was going to lose out on that because of his uh, mistime oh, on the Mega. A, oh, Cypher! Oh my god! Why was Rafa sticking around there? He was just he sitting thought, on the Mega. He thought it was going to be up soon. That's what happened. That's why he let Cypher take the Mega health because he just completely lost track of it. That's three situations at Mega now that which were game changing. And we're back at a tight game. These guys are going to want to both put it into overtime. They don't want to take any risks because they're both pretty low on the stacks. And there it is. 10 seconds to the overtime. Can one of the players do something crazy risky or are they both going to set off this? Let's jump over to Rafa see what he's doing here. Rafa actually I mean, he doesn't want to take it to overtime. but This is overtime anyway, guys. Two minutes of extra time here in the grand finals on map two. And yeah, back to Rafa now. looks very good, in fact. See if he can defend this, though. And oh, dear. Oh, no. This is troublesome. That rocket almost finishing off. Rafa, he makes it before one health left. He chases around the corner. And he is going to be looking good in the next uh, 120 seconds. And right off the spawn, Cypher does drop. That movement was actually brilliant. If uh, enough LG hit him, then he would have been just pushed out of it. So Rafa in a fantastic position this oh overtime. Gosh. Cypher trying to do something at Mega, but he won't really do too much. Rafa should win this, but you've got to be careful, Plasma. You never quite know, and this could be dangerous. Two bolts to kill him. Wow. And oh, jumping straight onto that Mega. He had, one twen he had 20 health left when he grabbed I the Mega. I can't believe that it. That was close. And Cy they're now on even stacks after that. Oh my this God. LG fight, if Cypher wins it, this could tie things up. This is far from over right now on Lost World. Cypher looking to make it into another overtime. I'm going to jump over to him to see if he can do it. Oh, this is going to up. Cypher can do this. Oh, oh there we go. Him. Four to four. And Roy Bakacha says Cypher. But it's still a long time until this red armor is going to spawn. At Mega will be it up at the like same time. It seems like an eternity right now. Look, look how impatient he is to get onto it. Oh, Cypher oh, makes a move. Red. Red. Okay, he's in trouble. But the rocket's there. Oh, my gosh. So, and Rafa's going to jump back up. He's got that 50 health bubble waiting for him. Mega is going to be up as well. And that's only 35 seconds left in this. Cypher's going to have to go clutch again. And it's 200-100. Oh, Rafa, wow. he's got the rockets, though. And Rafa going to sprint backwards. Do you think Rafa's just going to play at this kind of little the steps here, this curve? I, I or is he going to go aggressive? Wants, he just wants to stay alive at this point. I don't think he wants to go for a fight. He does not need to, but he spots yeah. Cypher down there. He can get free damage. He is. Oh, Cypher so low at the moment. Oh, he's going to shotgun on the there exit. GG, 5-3 to three for Rafa, and he's going to tie the grand finals up. What a game from both players. And I have to say, so many interesting situations at the Mega. Like, three yeah. really interesting Absolutely situations. Absolutely unreal, man. I thought we were going to go to a second over time for a little bit, but yeah, Rafa, he managed to get it. What, that control from Cypher at the beginning yeah. of the map, he held it so long, and then suddenly Rafa, bang, he got those opportunities, and he got the frags exactly when he needed to. Yeah, his fundamentals were spot on. Rafa just, he, you know, as you said, that first mega steal, and really Cypher should have been there for a challenge. There should have been a lot of damage put onto him, but Cypher kind of just was like, okay, I'll go and grab the red armor, and you can have, I'll give you 20 damage or so, and you can have the mega. But yeah. then Rafa turned that into a massive fight, uh, which Cypher got crushed in, and then la later on it actually reversed. Yeah. And actually, Rafa left up a mega for Cypher, and the same situation was happening again. He would have been kicking himself if, that, if the, leaving the mega up and getting the wrong time would have cost him the game. Yeah. He managed to turn it around. Oh, yeah, I ca can't forget that, actually. Yeah, just exactly. Sitting, and that's very unlike Rafa, too. So just waiting for these guys to get ready. Rafa w needs to reboot his PC. But, yeah, that would have been... That would have been a massive facepalm moment because he never exactly. does a mistime like that. It's rare you see that. That's the kind of uh, you know championship. It cost him the championship potentially if it, it did oh result God. in a loss. You know, that's going to be bidding yeah. Cipher uh, on a match point. That is just too much really to handle. We will be moving on to Cure 
as the next map. This is what uh, Cypher picked. Do you have any thoughts yeah. on uh, what you think All right, we might okay. be seeing? So Cypher, we've seen a lot of activity from him in the last few months. And of course, Cura, a newer map, and a map introduced for, for QuakeCon, basically. And a lot of people think it's a great map. And Cypher, he adopted this, and he's like, this is my map, yeah. okay? Because, and you can see why. A lot of the items on this map are basically made to basically you know, be like, oh, this looks really good. You go and take it, and you get destroyed because all the positioning for the items is quite terrible. And Cypher usually likes to make players like that. He likes to bait and trap and make people deceive people yeah. and play on awareness. So this is, this is through and through a map that really goes with Cypher's style. However, Rafa is... Uh, <laughs> exactly. Right, this right, is Rafa. He's going to have something to say about yeah. it. You know, Cypher was saying at the end of the tournament that Arrow and DM13 are his best maps. However, Rafa took his DM13. This is no longer really the best of Cypher. He's going to have to work very hard because I think uh, Rafa, he's going to bring the game. Exactly, the yeah. You can never discount the strength of Rafa's fundamentals and how he is so strong at making decisions, good decisions. Yeah. And his timing as well, just across the board, solid. The only real edge Cypher can usually have over him is sometimes that, that just ridiculous, like almost unreal aim. Yeah, Which exactly. Is, I mean, the rockets, the LG, almost everything. Uh, Cypher's LG has been so impressive this tournament. A lot of people are saying his yep. tox, the best LG, his strengths, is even evil. You know what? I, I'm going to say I think Cypher's the best LG at the moment. Yeah, and that's, that's something, really that's something big to discuss in the community. That's not mm. like a, a small accolade you possess. That's something really big. And they're really getting big. ready. This is it, guys. Map number three here there in the go. grand finals of DreamHack Winter 2013. Rafa and Cypher starting here on Cure. And there we go. Off with the American, the champion of QuakeCon 2013 here. And right off the start with that railgun, with that red and the rocket as well. He's a looking for some damage here. And oh, no, this is bad. He's got to get oh out of the Oh, my God, the LG is so painful there. He hit 54% lightning gun in that fight. And, yeah. well, that sent that Rafa really searching for the health bubbles. It's, uh, Rafa, went, as soon as he walked in there, he knew he had to get the hell out of there because he is open, open range against a lightning gun. You, if you don't have one yourself, th there's no way you can take a fight. So immediately now, Rafa's kind of on a stack deficit. And Cypher a bit untouched there. So Cypher, so far, with the best start. Can he really transform this? Because this is a map where you can... Oh, but before I say that, there's a bit of an engagement here and, and damage exchange. But this is a map where you can take it slow and build up. Yeah, it absolutely is. I was going to say at the beginning that Cypher was probably pretty happy about That's having the lightning gun spawn as we saw in that early fight. Rafa does manage to get a peak rail. Cypher moving in though with the rockets. Here's two great ones. There's the third. First blood has been spilled. And well, those rockets just made it look easy. So Rafa was no longer in control of his movement as he has been popped all over the place. Yeah, definitely. Cypher. Oh, catches Rafa. Boosts him up there, but Rafa oh responds with the great rail. So definitely Cypher getting a bit stung there for trying to grab onto Rafa. And now as he moves over to the Mega, he really needs to try to defend this, but to like have an edge on the stack, but he, I don't think he really can do it. So let's see if Rafa is gonna be, out. oh, great play from Rafa there. To not just go straight for the Mega, but to try to cut off Cypher's escape route there. And Mega's still up on the spot. Uh, Cypher is like, okay, should I take this? I don't know. Is, is Rafa gonna bait this and punish me? I don't know. He's not short because now all the items are spawning. So Cypher is actually opting to get a position on the red armor instead. Very interesting how this turned out. Raph has been able to get the mega. And uh, maybe they're going to be having a fight over at the yellow armor. Cypher, Ethan he's Sash. there already. Rafa in a little bit late. Cypher goes up the bounce pad. That's not where wow. you want to be. But the rocket of Cypher saved him completely. Insane there. It'd be, that was perfect from Cypher to, to stop that incredibly terrible situation. Uh, still uh, slightly beneficial for Rafa, but it no longer became a risky one. It could have been chase. a frag for him if he missed that rocket. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. And uh, Rafa is completely capped out on his armor. Cypher, despite having a lead right now, he might be playing a little bit more passively for a bit longer, but his rockets are helping out an absolute bucket load here. And we've got the Mega. Uh, Cypher's going to go for it, but Rafa uh -oh. is coming straight in. He's done a load of LG damage already. Are they going to commit? Rafa looking by the teleporter, trying to protect it. Nine health left. Wow. Cypher. Oh, he's going to look for the rail. Oh, oh my gosh, he's going to go oh for the double goodness. back, but he won't make it. Cypher wins red armor, and he's finding the health already on the map. And through the teleport, oh, Rafa's oh, going to wow. that in the corner. What a play, Cypher. That was unreal. That was really, really nice trap by Rafa as well. And he convinced Cypher that, hey, no one's at the Mega. And then as soon as Cypher takes it, he's stuck. He's got his back against the wall, and Rafa's there, just with the LG out. But here is now another engagement 
slightly over this red armor. It's not one that Rafa wants to take exactly. He's gonna just let Cypher have this, but Cypher, you know, just delaying it a bit. Oh, great play oh from Cypher. Gosh. Look at that LG, that's that exactly what you're talking so about. Bad. Wow. It's just gluing onto him. Yeah, Rafa can't really do anything about it. And, uh, he's managed to pick up the, the yellow armor, but Cypher, he's completely fully stacked uh, with the 200 armor. Nice rail. Just need a mega at least, but yeah, hitting one shot, chasing down to the bottom. Rafa cannot escape the LG. He's having a tough time here. Definitely, that, that aim is quite uh, impressive. And Cypher now cycling back over to the mega. This is exactly what he did before, you know, left that red up and and poked into this mega because he's he's playing on the on the decision that I was like okay you know Cypher's gonna go for this red so I'm gonna have a chance to take the mega with no one to harass me but that's what Cypher's playing on as well it's like all the mind games that play here really high level there's Rafa spotted again but Cypher unable to find much damage but he does get the red. Yeah, actually Rafa had an opportunity to pick up the red armor but he's pushed so much off the map oh my god the line again again. Uh, Rafa, I was able to get away this time, not completely uh, destroyed of all his stack. So Rafa, he's making good adjustments here against Cypher. Wow. But when what can you do HP about that? remaining, and so, uh, Rafa, sorry, is just absolutely legging this one. Can we go over to Rafa's perspective and see exactly how he's going to be uh, playing this one out of control? Uh, Cypher, it just seems to be complete man mode at this point. Now let's see if Rafa can on the fly implement some changes into his approach because clearly Cypher's got his number in the opening five minutes here. But Rafa, with some nice damage there and some good positioning here, he might be able to find something else. You know, trying to listen in for some position here. He just wants to try to stop damage coming in. He needs to avoid damage and stack up at least 150. There's some shards, there's some greens to work with as well. And then Rafa can make some play. But whether it's on the red or the mega, it's completely up to Rafa and how he reads Cypher's decisions but They're both well. actually looking for each other, constantly on the opposite sides of the map at this point. It's quite strange. They're, they're both so almost paranoid at the fact they're going to be around the corner, but this time they're going to be meeting together now. Rafa taking a pretty nasty rocket. Cypher doesn't want to push it. That's going to be a no. Yeah. But he's got uh, plenty of space to pick up that red and go to Mega if he even wants to. Had Rafa hit. Oh, actually, before I Great finish play that here. thought, look at this Cypher. He's trying to get really aggressive here. Rafa avoided damage there very well, actually. He, he's retained quite a bit of his stack and, and uh, looking for a good engagement. But here oh comes dear. Cypher. This could be bad. The Lightning Gun is going to be hurting at this point. Rafa cannot get away. 5 0 now. And he just seems to have no defense plan against that LG. When Cypher gets in a good spot, he seems nearly unbeatable. No kidding. It's just, it's his aim is just overpowering. It's mm -hmm. it's just so incredibly strong. And four minutes left now, and Cypher still five up. You can jump over to Rafa again, see what he can do against this. Mega spawns, and red is coming as well. But Rafa is going to favor the greens and some yellows and shards and so on playing the downside of the map, trying to stack up once again. Maybe this time he takes an engagement. He'll get you know, the opening damage he needs to then commit to a fight, to then win control. That's what he's really looking for. And let's see if he can find it right here. Yeah, he's going to finally be able to get that rail. I'm able to play a bit of a long range game. But this is where, you know, before in his tournament, he's been hitting so consistent at hitting those crucial shots. He needs to start hitting them right now. Cypher thinking of moving up a bit with the lightning gun. He's going to go down. The ra rockets are going to be missing from Rafa. And he's going to back off. He doesn't need to pick his fight yet. Cypher's going to be stacked for a fair amount longer. And that just wasn't the right time. Rafa yeah, Ra Rafa's doing really well, though. He's actually keeping his stack alive, going into these little attacks, and eventually it might just go his way. But this is oh, really no. rash right here. He's he didn't get onto Mega. This is absolutely terrible. Cypher's going to stop him from going through the teleporter. Well, that's actually a great... Oh, aim great rail. Oh, there's a oh, he's got another one. Oh, craters! <laughs> Great play from the American. He, what a save that was. He missed the Mega, but he saved himself. But what a, what's happening off the spawn here? It's going to be Rafa's actually managed to get rockets, uh, a rail, and the red armor. Cypher getting the, all of the weapons very quickly. And uh, actually, Rafa's managed to finally find the LG as well. I say that Rafa is slightly behind after all of that, but he should have a very good idea of all the items. Let's see if he can hold his own. He can't hit the rail. Those little peak shots, he really needs to land. Cypher, here's the, the hum of that LG, and he knows where Rafa is. He's hunting him down with those rockets and trying to connect more and more to stop him getting away Can with that get red. This one? Rafa might be in a bit of trouble. He's running very low on health, trying to escape around the corner, but Rafa, if he, sorry, Cypher, if he received another direct rocket, he would have died at that point. 
and chose to back away. He doesn't really need to pick fights this one. He just needs to survive. 62 health left. Cypher runs just in time. Cypher. This is great. Those are the rails that count. That is exactly what Rafa needed to do. But yep. has he got enough time to turn this into, well, a few frags to bring it to a tight game? Yeah, Cypher, he's very good at disappearing. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to jump on over to Rafa and see if he can find Cypher. How is it Cypher oh, radar? He finds him. That's what he needed. Rafa finally getting himself an actual point on the board here. He's oh, going he to find find him again. again. There's going to be another one. So he gets through the teleporter in time. He does find oh, him. 15 left. Here is the Mega. He can go straight over to the red. If Cypher's in the way, he could be in a bit of trouble. He's going to find him. He can't hit the rail, oh, but pushes great. him off the edge. That's really nice from Rafa. There. He knew that Cypher wouldn't expect that move, and he gets some free damage, and then the red. This is a really good move here. Chipping away, challenging, challenging. Can he's he find trouble. the frag again? Oh, the, the rocket rockets. from Cypher, clutching it at the end. GG is called. Six to two here in map three, and Cypher goes to match point here in the grand finals of DreamHack Winter 2013. Again, Cypher's aim, man, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, from the beginning when he was hitting 54% LG yep. in the initial fight, and he kind of was able to carry it through the entire game. Rafa actually, yeah. had some great opportunities, though. He that managed to build a lot, but the Rockets were what shut it down at the end. If Rafa got the frag there, then he was well on his way to uh, tying up. And that uh, moment the at the start is, is, like you pointed out, the 54% LG moment, that really did set the pace because all of a sudden Rafa was out of control then, like yeah. quite heavily so. And then for the rest of the map almost, it felt like he was out of control and constantly trying to just hide, get exactly. armor, and then try and break, break the stack. And uh, right there, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> he couldn't quite do it. But now we move on to toxicity. It's going to be his map. It's, this, is, this is the Rafa map. We saw Dahang with an amazing challenge on Rafa here. You know, Dahang picked it. Dahang's really, really good here. But yeah. besides Dahang, Rafa. I'm not sure if Cypher can have his number like Dahang did. So well, let's go into this. Let's get into this, guys. Map number four is Rafa's pick. Currently, the score is 2 1 to Cypher in the grand finals. But Rafa, he's going to be able to have a good crack at this. Some said that he is the best in the world at Toxicity. Well, this is where he's going to need to show it. Cypher, though, he's getting a red and a yellow early on. He managed to get the lightning gun, and so he's going to be very happy with that weapon as well. But straight over, going towards the rail, Rafa with some great rockets. And he's actually getting a lead over here. He has that rail gun still. Yeah. And uh, Cypher's got to be careful. He knows that he, there's a ton of angles on this map that you've just got to completely avoid, especially uh, when your armor is as scarce as this. Indeed, so Cypher trying to scrounge what he can, and one yellow, that's uh, that's nice, but it's uh, it pales in comparison to what Rafa, his opponent, has been able to pick up in recent times, and nice little bit of rocket damage going there, but still Cypher needs more, but here comes Rafa, Cypher oh, very low, just barely the acid. avoiding the acid bath. And still just trying to just keep it slow. And every time, he did kind of avoid a death there, but Rafa's coming back for round two very shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Can we go over to Rafa? Actually, let's not bother right now because Rafa almost getting into a fight story. But let's move over to his point of view now, see how he's going to be playing Toxicity. He's got a nice amount of armor. Mega not for a few seconds, so he's got a bit of time to try and hunt down his Belarusian counterpart. He's going to go to the top, Reddit and Mega. Except he didn't pick up Mega immediately, so Red and Mega are spawn very soon together. And Rafa doesn't want to have for choice. He doesn't want to give that Red away to Cypher. And indeed he won't. Well played here by Rafa, having complete dominating control on Toxicity. Yeah, not a single frag yet. This is quite unlike Toxicity. Both players, so much respect. Cypher, you know, basically, one of the skills he's famed for is being able to read the map and play very well out of control by just disappearing, not being found. And that's what he's doing so very well at the moment. But here, Rafa will yeah. find him with the lightning gun. And he can't quite get it in though. Disappearing around the corner. Well, Rockets so are just Cypher. sick. I wonder if Cypher is going to be going for that red or if he's going to be waiting up for Mega. It's going to be spawning right now. Yep, and Cypher's waiting on it. Stacks are pretty much dead even, guys. And oh, Rafa, that rocket, that's going to change it up a little bit. Bounce it in his favor a bit. And they're sneaking around though. Neither of them really able to find each other too easily, but they can hear the buzzing of the weapons. Oh, yeah, great real connection there from Rafa. Nice. And he still is no closer really to getting a frag, it seems. He can't quite get on top of Cypher. Here he wants to, but that LG is just so painful there. And he did a great job with the rockets though. That's quite a lot of damage. And he's setting up for this Mega. There goes Cypher, but an easy Mega pick up for Rafa. Great he means business there. now. He, he can get the kill right now. Cypher's pretty weak. He's got 37 health left. 
But Rafa doesn't want to clean it up right now. Almost three minutes and toxicity. We haven't seen a kill. Nice oh, that rail, rail is going to take Cypher down to 32 health. He rocketed himself down to nine and he can't find any health anyway. Surely Rafa is going to go for first blood. Now there's the nice rail, rail from and he Rafa. makes it happen. I love how well Rafa played that. He didn't chase for a frag, he let it kind of come to him and he hit the shot, relying on the fact that this is a map with loads of angles to abuse, you just have to hit, and he didn't try to chase, because Cypher, he does a, a lot of damage when you try to chase him, and if he did that, he would have even up the stacks, oh and gosh. here you can see the result, patience, 200, 200, oh. a second frag, Rafa's on a roll right now, Cypher's got to be careful, because Rafa's coming once again. Oh, he's going to go over the line again, this is going to be an easy third, and then it's going to be the red armor up, Rafa takes this quickly, he can get over to top yellow, and really take the full rotations of item here. But if, if he's going to slow down, then Cypher will be able to pick up something. Oh, I don't even know if he'll be able to. Oh, hey, there we are. Rafa missing his shot, so Cypher does get some resources, but it's going to be barely anything with the damage output from the American. Look at how the item times are split up. He has an amazing cycle together. Rafa could turn this into utter destruction. Oh, what a move there. Cypher was not expecting it, but the rocket's absolutely great. Cypher cannot get to red. 4-0 now. Look, look at this cycle. The yellow just spawned for him. If he can get over to the next yellow as well in time, then uh, I mean, Cypher's going to probably pick that up. There it is. But, that one on time, but yeah. uh, that's all he's going to get now. That's all he's going to get for another 20 seconds or so. And Rafa, you know, he's so good right oh. now on the Mega spot. But that was a fantastic rocket. That might just give Cypher what he needs to push in on the Mega. That, yeah, that could be enough to at least secure one of the items. Otherwise, Rafa would have tried to be negotiating both of them. Yeah, opting not for that mega challenge, but instead for the red. Very, very smart choice there from Cypher. But in the meantime, 200-100 Rafa looking really strong now. We're approaching halfway, and he's four francs in the lead, and he's really playing ex like extremely solidly. So solidly. Rafa looking for a bit more damage. Cypher's actually got enough health and armor to, to play with and be confident with. Red's going to spawn in a second. Cypher searching somewhere. He does manage to hit a rail onto Rafa. He's looking for one more. Rafa hasn't really returned fire match, apart from with the LG. And there up is the Mega, and Rafa is safeguarding it away from the evil Cypher, who try is trying to take it there. But look at the damage oh. coming in there. Cypher, oh, Rafa wanted to jump for the chase. Oh, oh my Cypher. god, Cypher. amazing. What a play there through the oh teleporter. He gets himself on the board. He's got time to go over to the red. This could be two to four, closing in on his lead. Cypher. What a play. Oh my god. It so oh, smart. Again, another so beautiful round. Sick. Cypher, just, uh, what do you say about this? Cypher, it's just exploding right now. <laughs> Three to four right now. And my hairs are standing on end. This is some absolute immense quake that we are getting from Cypher at the moment. And is he gonna, surely going to be able to get... Oh, oh, the rocket. What a reply. Finally trying to shut him up. Oh, but Rafa. Almost uh, suicidal moves then. And yeah. Cypher's not happy to go after it. Even rocket jumping up with barely any health. Such a steady game until Cypher decided to go huge in here. Oh, he it's going to go down. Rafa manages to stop that spree of kills that Cypher was getting. That last minute is being very chaotic. And what does Cypher not want to stop it? He's looking for a direct rocket. That could have taken him out. Yeah, it's got to be very careful though, Rafa. Doing a sigh of relief that none of those did connect. And here goes Cypher once again onto the challenge. Zone. And Rafa gets away there and there is a yellow up looking for Cypher where is he there he's spotted and Rafa knows he can go Cypher's for this yellow low. but can he get this mega Cypher looks like he just took the red so with that second yellow pick up oh what a rail that drive by rail from Rafa so strong and there's the mega as well Rafa wants the fight he wants it now and here Cypher bringing him the fight and there, there is go. easy kill Six to three now. Can he find another spawn? There's going to be one rail. The pace of these shots are just absolutely mental. Red's not going to be up for a few seconds. But it, he's a little bit too weak. He doesn't feel confident just barging around the map and trying to push Cypher into positions that he can eliminate him in. And it's going to be a yellow. Cypher's actually picked two of these up in a row. He's a bit short of health. But uh, with a couple of good rockets, Rafa could certainly feel his wrath. And Cypher's got to be careful where he steps at the moment. Rafa's looking very dangerous. And oh, just Ooh. missing that rail. But oh, just missing the second one as well. That is a really good situation now for Cypher, who's got position at no cost from Rafa, and there is Rafa with the pickup, but Cypher's got some rockets in hand, and the LG as well, Rafa backing away onto the red, and Cypher also backing away. Yeah, two and a half minutes left, Cypher's three packs behind, he's, he's got a bit of time, he can try and you know, slow things down and keep the, frag, the frags the way they are, and then look for a good attack, maybe in about a minute's time, because right now Rafa looks like he's the one trying to aggress, and trying to just extend his lead. He's got to be careful though, not to overgress, not to overcommit into any situations. 
Mega coming out soon. This is the money spot from Rafa. He can deal damage at Redfall back onto Mega whenever he wants. And it's, it's a really safe spot there. And there is the still up and Cypher not taking it. Oh, if Rafa had hit that, he could have jumped in for the kill. And unfortunately for him, Cypher is bringing the damage again. But Rafa's still very strong here. Yeah, very strong indeed. And this attacks are nearly neck and neck, even after that yellow picked up. I can't really tell who's going to be able to pick up the next kill. Rafa looks oh. like, oh, that rocket was beautiful. I'm going to get a drop down here. Rafa wants position on red armor, and if he doesn't take any damage here, he's going to be very aggressive on that mega health. Plasma is starting to hurt, and he actually goes back with it. Cypher moving forward with the lightning gun. He's got him trapped over here, and Rafa steps out. Uh, Mega going to be up. Rafa's actually made it over towards it. He can try and further his lead. He's going to take him down 7-3 to three now. He wants that tiebreaker map. He wants the DreamHack Winter Championship. Oh, a bit of pummel actually going on there. Rafa's got to be careful. Can't mess around with this situation here. One hell for Rat Cypher after that rocket. He's definitely learned. This actually helps Rafa because with that, that low amount of health, he can't do anything. He has to be passive on the map because, and that gives complete control to Rafa. Rafa can do anything, take anything, be anywhere, any way he wants, and that's really bad for Cypher now. Who you can see that still on one health, by the way. Oh, two, he gets two twenty-five. Fine, he's not. I'm gonna switch over man to, to Cypher. See what yeah, he can do here. Let's do that. And not much time left now for Cypher to try to bring this back to a tied game. All these seconds, he has to hit the frag in the next 10 seconds, to be honest, or else this is looking really grim for him. Rafa's just trying to control their time. There's a, a couple of decent rockets. Rafa definitely being weakened, and he's not actually returning any damage at this point. He's got to do something. We've got an aggressive jump up from Cypher, but Rafa is nowhere to really be seen. Oh, there yes. it is, the LG, but Cypher going to be dropping down to the water again. Rafa, he can probably clear up. Uh, this fourth map here with just another fight, but time is running out anyway. Cypher is going to find himself with opportunities lost as he's going to be walking to the end of the clock. So that's it, guys. GG. 7 to 3 for Rafa here on map 4. We are going to get the tiebreaker map. Sinister. Oh, yes. I knew it was going to go to five maps, and I'm so pleased to yeah, see it's, it's true. But to who is the fifth map going to go to? I know. To? I just want to bring us back to one quick thing that happened in that Toxicity game when sure. Rafa was going ahead with a bunch of kills. He did a lot of damage below Mega and he wanted to finish off Cypher. And Cypher, yeah. he looked really weak. He's really poshing, you know, I'm weak, I'm weak. I'm running away, I'm going to get health and stuff like that. And just as Rafa jumped forwards, that's the exact moment that Cypher re-peaked with LG and then got so much damage, switched to rail, killed him, and then got three frags. I mean, that's the kind of player that Cypher is. One, one missed jump or one, saw some one error. mind-boggling plays. I yeah, it's both, that, both of them. They have, there's so many mind tricks going on as exactly. well about how, when they're doubling back or tripling back. That's so much. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to what we're going to be getting in Sinister. This is going to be much slower than Toxicity. Yeah. And uh, I think maybe we're going to see something similar to Lost World, that kind of pace, apart from with the rail included. Um, I'm not, I cannot tell who on earth is going to be winning this. And it here is they so go, Zoo. This is live. the last map here in the Grand Finals of DreamHack Winter 2013. We are going to be starting this with Rafa. He's going to be getting the railgun straight onto Mega Health. And uh, well, picking up a couple of weapons already. It's going to be a very even start here. But Cypher, once again, he gets the LG spawn. Yeah, so things starting off very slow. Nothing mental happening. And that's really good for both players. They want to start this off slow and steady. And that's exactly what has happened here. Rafa wants this lightning gun really badly. He can hear, um, uh, he can hear his opponent above him, Cypher. And Rafa's going to be able to get that and kind of get out of there. So that's really, really important for Rafa. It can really be very dangerous to go for that LG. So that's a huge relief there. And oh, here is Cypher on the Mega. Rafa was going for a little bit of rocket damage. But Cypher, he's still you know, 200 health, 170 armor. And Rafa's definitely going to have a hard time for now. But. He's got so much, there's so much space on this map to run around. He doesn't need to go for a fight for uh, as long as he likes, basically. I won't be surprised if Rafa delays this for you know, a minute or two minutes until he can get 200 armor and maybe even uh, make a play for that mega health. So there he is, the mega coming up in 10 seconds. Rafa's going to want to make a defense here, and he's got to try to predict. And he knows where Cypher is. He heard the sound, so he knows exactly where he's coming from. Hits the rail, and he backs off. Damage. 
So this is really interesting that Cypher was able to actually push onto that. And Rafa not very stacked now. And there is the red coming up as well. And he can't really do much here. He just throws a rocket and he's like, I can't really stick around here. Goes for the yellow instead and some shards. At least guarantees himself that he doesn't take damage and builds the stack. And a great prediction there from Rafa again. Keeping himself alive here. But oh no, Cypher coming what from the other side. Here. There's the lightning gun. Cy Rafa could not move at all. Cypher's going to get the first kill. And he's, well, this is a slightly tricky situation now because Red and Mega are going to be up at the same time. Cypher needs to somehow win both of them. Otherwise, Rafa is going to have a great end to this map. He's going to go for Mega Health. And actually, Rafa does get Red. And he's also managed to pick up uh, the Rail, Rockets, and the Lightning Gun. So despite being one frag behind, he's not looking too bad anymore. Indeed, two minutes gone here. And Cypher with that first frag. And this is, again, the last map. This decides who is going to be the champion here. And Cypher is trying to find where Rafa is. Oh, what a rail there from Cypher. And still moving forwards onto Rafa. He wants to just push this forward. Hits another one. This is just brutal right now. Rafa's got... I mean, he didn't die, but he's got to take this really slow now because this could get out of hand quite quickly as Cypher picks up that mega. Yeah, very nice play. He's still not that far ahead, though. This yellow puts him about 150 to 100 health armor ahead. Uh, he's getting a bit more LG ammunition there for Cypher, but I'm seeing Rafa, yeah, he's playing up at the top yellow. He doesn't really want to get involved with Cypher at the moment. He hears the red timing, so he's keeping an eye on that. Uh, Cypher, though, he's going to be able to find him now. Suddenly moving on this, this could be another kill, but Rafa's rockets are absolutely insane. Oh, the oh, red at the end! Hell. What a clutch play! Rafa ties it up. So crucial in, in the face of all that damage, but now he's finding Cypher challenging for that mega health and he does pick it up. So Rafa, he does tie the game up, but the cost is pretty high because he's yeah. quite low. So it's going to be really difficult for him to stay alive. But if he can do that, at least he has made the tie game a reality for himself here, which you know, alleviates a lot of pressure. But here comes Cypher, oh. surprise attacking. Oh. There you go. A good rocket there by Rafa, but it was not going to be enough. He was just too outstacked at that point. But once again, that situation arises where Red and Mega will be up at the same time. This might not even matter at this point because Cypher just destroys Rafa in that fight. So on the red, it's going to be a trade though. It, it, it is, it's still going to be a trade. Cypher, he Indeed. was so impatient for us spamming the crouch button on it. He's going to jump over to Rafa here, as we can see him. Let's see if he can scrap together something here because he needs to find a little bit of armor so he can make some kind of challenge here. And we have the next fight in that red. There is Cypher, hits a rail. So this is really nasty for Rafa because what he needs now more than anything is patience. Whoa. And well, that wasn't so patient. He just took a lot of damage from Cypher unnecessarily. And this mega's not going to be up a little bit. Cypher's staying there for so long, even though the item isn't there, expecting Rafa to move back out. And here's Mega in perfect, uh, at the perfect moment for Cypher. Indeed, I mean, if Rafa has a distinctive time on that Mega, he might make a, a really crazy play trying to take the fight, but position himself on the Mega spot just as it spawns. So he has an, you know, effectively 100 more health, but it, will it even come to that? Whoa. No, Cypher just takes the fight to him again. He just finds him. Yeah, he does. We're approaching the halfway mark, and Cypher seems to be relentless with his control. Top yellow is up. This is the, basically the one of the only yellows that Rafa's really been able to get regular control on. And now it's Cypher who's going to be taking it. Mega's going to be up in a moment. And actually, it's Cypher just breaking through that choke point. Rafa already stepped well away from that area. Now things are looking really grim for him. I mean, Cypher somehow has this knack. Look at that beautiful rail again. Just awesome that, rail. that flick, vertical flick. So, so good. And he just has a knack at the moment for finding Rafa when Rafa's playing out of control. And Again, Cypher's very good at reading the sounds and, the, and deducing exactly where his opponents are going to be and see that coming into effect here. But Rafa's got to make, he's got five minutes left now to turn this around or he is done. Yeah, that's it. And it seems to be still so difficult for him to get any kind of control. Cypher basically taking everything he can. He takes Mega, but he might run through the teleporter right now. Rafa could be in a bit of trouble. They're on the top level. He's going to try and commit to this one. His rock is not strong enough. Cypher extends his leader right off the spawn. Rafa trying to leg it, but there's nowhere for him to hide. Six to one now. Low yellow getting taken. Maybe Rafa. Yeah, Rafa does get a top yellow. But uh, that's oh, just nothing. Wow. Oh, the Huge phenomenal rail. Phenomenal shots we're getting from Cypher. Huge rail. I mean,. What is Rafa going to do against that? He's again just put to these, the test here. Executionally, 
It's looking really, really tough for him. And Cypher now moving forwards, trying to see if he can grab this Mega. There's no resistance at all. Rafa nowhere to be seen. Rafa's got to go nuts at some point because this scoreline, so in five frags now, is starting to get it, it, out of hand. It is mounting a lot. And Rafa's hardly been able to get any kind of control. He's managing to take a few shards now, and he's got himself up to 100, 100, but it seems like such hard work. Do you want to go over to Rafa's point of view Let's and see what he's going to be able to do? Good rail there from over. Rafa. Bit of damage, but he's still got to wait a few seconds until this top yellow spawns. It's going to come down to a big risk from Rafa at the end of the day. It has to. He, so he's not really a player who likes high risk, high reward plays, but he's, he's going to have to do it. That's what it comes down and that's it. This is it. He's going onto the Mega. He does a decent amount of uh, damage with the Rockets and the LG. Now, is he going to have to commit to this 36 health left? Cypher had 20, but he managed to escape in time. It's, it's, this is it. Down to the rails. Down to the shots here for Rafa. That was the big play he needed. That was the big risk oh he gosh. required. And it, it, will it pay off? I mean, as you said, equally low was Cypher. So Rafa, Rafa decided to, to move away from the angle. Cypher man eventually managed to get the red armor, but he was did not feel comfortable doing that. Rafa, and he's weak once again. He's going to be losing out on this mega health. Yeah. That was a fight that it's did not favor him at all. Oh, the oh. grenade. Just because he missed that rail as well, he couldn't push forwards, and that's a good one there. But he's putting himself in a bit of a committed, exposed position. Rafa, oh, so careful to avoid the next rail there from Cypher. It's a good situation from, from Rafa there, actually. Yeah, he completely ran out of slow, so he may have even hung around and, and risked it to get some more rail damage, because that's the kind of moves he has to do at the moment. With less than two and a half minutes to go, Cypher's not giving up this control easily. He absolutely is not. Rafa's going to have to really work this, really earn this, if he wants to take it away from Cypher. So there is Cypher pushing on that Mega. He's going to chase for this. Rafa, oh, managed to do decent damage, but he's got 14 health remaining. Uh, Cypher moves onto the LG. Oh. That's 7-1 to one here with two minutes to go. Although Cypher's completely run out of armor. He's going to get a yellow, which will boost him up a bit. But now the stacks are pretty much tied. Now there's a rail here, 66 health left for Cypher. And it, actually, Rafa is going to go for the jump. Oh, he looks for the rail shot. Cypher's still railable at this point. And he is hiding, trying to cover for his life. Oh, oh the rail is going to hit. Shot. Is it in enough time, though? That is the question, DDK. Rafa the sniper. Five frags, he can find that in 90 seconds, but he's going to play out of his mind. And, of course, you need to get a bit of luck in there as well. No denying that, but let's see if it's going to be Rafa's day right here on Sinister. And... He's going to make his way forwards here with some rocket jumps. Cypher's hiding right next to the teleporter near red. He's been there for about 20 seconds plus. And he's just on 100 health. Right, and he just heard him. Cypher making a move out. He's down at the rocket, going up to upper yellow through the teleporter. And he is just killing the clock. He wants to be the DreamHack Winter 2013 champion. And there's 60 seconds away from him and the title. And here goes Rafa. He finds Cypher finally. It's all down to this moment for him. And he just slips away. Through Rafa's fingers there. Yeah, Nothing he not could have done it. there. Exactly. And there uh, is Red Up. Cypher's got 23 health left. He doesn't even want to make the jump across. And he moves back over to the top yellow. Rafa trying to take him out. But it, it's just not going to work. Cypher hiding everywhere. And, and Rafa kind of getting fooled a little bit. I can't believe Cypher's nindering around this so well. Here it is. Rafa does a great rocket. But there is frag number three for Rafa. It's not really going to be enough though, 20 seconds left. He is going to hunt him as hard as he can, not giving up till the very last second. The Cypher, he's got a high position. Here's the rocket jump up. Rafa, is he going to be able to get another kill over here? 32 health left, 10 seconds remaining. Cypher, he can just start his victory lap. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got DreamHack Winter is. 2013 champion. It is Cypher taking it three maps to two. Congratulations to Cypher. Immaculate performance, and what a thrilling final we had. Such great plays from both players. Absolutely stunning, man. And a big cheer in the audience here for the Belarusian. He is so happy to Cypher. have this title. Cypher from Belarus playing for Titan Gaming. Yeah, Cypher's moment is uh, inaugural performance here for Titan indeed. And they're going to be, they made a pretty good choice in player. I the think side. so. And, that, and look at that, taking an absolute deep breath there. And this was going to be one of the last lads that he would have attended, but he really, look at that statement he made. This cannot be the end when he is getting performances like this. Currently yeah. the best player in the world. I can't believe it's over, finally. Z. We've been so much hype leading up to this event, and with that last rail, it's yeah. over. Cypher exactly, is man. the victor.
I mean, a lot of things have been seen at this event, a lot of stories to take home, a lot of people to thank, everyone who's been watching the event, all the participants who's managed to make their way over, it's been absolutely fantastic. Guys, we are going to be having an interview with the finalists in just a moment. We're going to take a very short break and then see that. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you in just a moment.